Welcome back to my channel guys and welcome to my office tour for 2019. My inspiration for my office was mostly minimal and functional, but also a little bit chic. So I wanted pieces in here that allowed me to get work done, but also things that inspired me and made me happy to look at. So for the desk, I chose this really simple, functional, beautiful desk by Convenience Concepts and I love that not only is it feminine and it's pretty and it's white, which I love, but it also has a little bit of storage on top, which is perfect because I don't have a lot of stuff, but I did need a place to hide things like pens and other things that might have been an eyesore. I chose this really simple acrylic ghost chair and I really like that it doesn't create a lot of visual clutter as your eye moves across the room. Inside the desk I have a basic acrylic organizer that holds my scrap paper, some pens, a marble coaster, the charger for my camera battery, and usually my calendar. It was important for me to have a drawer in my desk so that I could keep the workspace of the desk as clutter-free and simple as possible. This room has a nice big window and I didn't want to feel like I was staring at a wall while I worked, so I positioned the desk at an angle so that I could also enjoy the view outside while I was working. It was really important for me to not only have an office area that I could get a lot of work done in, but also a place that was sort of a haven. So I surrounded myself with other things that I love, like a couple of plants, as well as these little balancing stones that I purchased from a local store. I was thinking of putting something behind the desk, like maybe a plant or a shelf. If you guys have any ideas of what you would put behind the desk area, if anything, let me know in the comments below. On top of the desk, of course, I have a little cactus, as well as this marbled photo frame, which I haven't chosen a photo for yet, and this little pink candle, which I think adds the perfect amount of color for the room. Behind the desk I have my vision board as well as a really cute letter board that says focus on the journey. If you guys are interested in seeing a vision board video let me know in the comments below and I can show you how I made mine. I chose a grey shag area rug to add a little bit of coziness to the room but also get rid of a little bit of the echo. I folded the corners over so that it would fit the desk area perfectly and still allow me to rearrange in the future if I wanted. I really love the look of this basic LED lamp that I purchased from Walmart. It adds the perfect amount of light in the evening when I'm working, but it doesn't take up too much space on the desk area. I kept with the theme of grey and marble as well as a little pop of gold when I got this little notebook from HomeSense. I try to keep the walls and the top of the desk as clutter-free as possible, so I usually keep this calendar tucked away, and this is where I write down my deadlines and things that are coming up in my business life. Beside the desk, I have this gorgeous little fiddle leaf fig in a beautiful container that I purchased from HomeSense. And in the opposite corner, I have a baby Monstera that I keep on a shelf which I DIY'd with some contact paper that I had sitting around.
across from the window I do have this large mirrored closet which houses a couple of storage bins as well as my tripod for my camera when it's not in use. I'm looking for an idea for what I should do to this wall, if anything. I feel like it's a little bit open and bare. If you guys have any ideas for what you would do with this wall, please let me know in the comments below. I love the warm glow that this room gets in the morning when the sun is rising as well as in the evening during twilight. It's such a calm, relaxing place to get some good work done. If you're not yet subscribed and haven't hit the notification bell, please consider doing so so that you don't miss any of my future content. Have a great day and thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.